At the start of the fight, immediately Jake Paul tried to gain the ring generalship on the centre of the ring. By doing so, he was able to push Anderson Silva back and create some confidence within himself. Knowing that Anderson Silva is a great mover, Jake Paul knew the best way to slow down this movement is by attacking his body. You can see how Jake was aiming towards Anderson Silva's body throughout the whole fight. This is a great way to slow down a mover and Jake Paul did just that because in the later rounds Silva was standing toe to toe rather than moving around. After the second round you could see how Anderson Silva was gaining the ring generalship and the center of the ring and pushing Jake Paul back. By doing so he was creating opportunities to land combinations and Jake Paul is a front-footed aggressive boxer so by pushing him back Silva was putting Jake under a lot of pressure. Just quickly going to the gym every day doesn't really improve you as a boxer you need to do that extra training that your opponent is not doing this is why i have started a new way of training called boxing analyzing what i will be doing is i will be taking clips of you analyzing it showing your strengths and your weaknesses so you can improve twice as quick as your opponent this new training method is being used by so many boxers that i have worked with let me work with you and let me help you become a world champion here is my email which is boxingworld at hotmail Dot com. Just give me an email and let's get to work. And how about this? The first clip that I do for you is going to be completely free of charge so I can show you my work. So what are you waiting for? Send that email and let's get to work. Okay, back to the video. This fight involved a lot of clinching. Being from a Muay Thai background, Silva was great in these situations. This is because he kept landing that very vicious inside uppercut. By landing this punch, Jake did not even know how to dodge this punch because he was always trying to clinch with both of his hands, which means he left his face unprotected. Silva was able to land this uppercut consistently on the inside. Looking at these clips, you can see how Anderson Silva's head movement is top class. His ability to evade Jake Paul's powerful punches was amazing to see but the thing was when he was dodging he was not countering because of this Jake was not hesitant or scared to throw punches Jake Paul's combinations were the deciding factor of whether he was going to win or lose this fight. These combinations were really troubling Anderson Silva and even helped him drop Silva and score a knockdown in the last round which clearly gave him the fight at the end. Let's break down this knockdown of how Jake was able to drop Anderson Silva. As Jake Paul came forward to attack you're going to see two green circles showing that Silva had his hands out and not to his chin. Now that blue arrow shows a gap in between Silva's guard. Jake seen this and was able to land a vicious right hook which put the spider down. <laughs> 